Hi, so I'm going to show you how to install DSS v7 on VMware ESXi. This is quite easy, but it requires a few steps, so the recording may help you to do it by yourself. So first we need to select any host. I have two hosts, as you see, so I select the first one and then I have to navigate to configuration uh, tab. Okay, I have already two DSS v7 installed and they are running iSCSI active active failover cluster so I have here two iSCSI containers available and I have also on this first uh, host I have a local uh, data store available as well. So in order to install DSS v7, we need uh, an ISO of DSS ISO image, right? So I was downloading this ISO image already. Okay, so you need to use this button: upload, upload the file, and then you have some uh, downloads on your computer. You can select and upload. So uh, my upload is there already. So I have an ISO image available. So I will be able to install my virtual machine. Now uh, we need to create a virtual machine. So we have a host. So when we click on this new virtual machine icon, then we start process of creating a virtual machine. We can select typical, but we will need to change some settings later on, or we can answer more questions when we select custom. So let us select custom way now the name of the virtual machine we can rename this later on as well but we can put already our proper name at once so dss v7 test okay and now the question on which data store center we have one only so next next question is where we are going to install this virtual machine so I can install on local store and later on move on I can install already on one of the iSCSI volumes data stores which are available here okay so I will select the second one a bit more capacity uh, it's 198 giga here I have uh, 3 terabyte okay this is good enough so we are uh, now selecting the operating system profile so i select linux and now the best which is fitting to dss is uh, just order uh, 2.6.x linux 64 bit okay that's our choice on next screen we can leave default defaults values and then one giga memory is the uh, minimum what we need for DSS. We can change these settings here. Okay. Next is a network interface card. This is very important settings. Uh, you can change these settings later on as well, but let's say we need two ports and important we need to change the default uh, E1000 adapter to virtual adapter because the virtual adapter can use uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet and also it will take advantage if you configure something uh, some connection within the virtual switch it will work work much faster than the, the default one okay so next is a storage uh, driver uh, we can select LSI logic uh, SAS emulator or we can select VMware para virtual and uh, these two are working quite fast don't use the uh, default uh, LSI logic parallel driver because it's very slow so we create new disk and as a destination for the DSS boot media we need 2 giga space no more so it don't uh, leave the 16 default 16 gigabyte default value because it will be waste okay so that's the Next point, and that's it. So we have the new DSS v7 uh, already 
installed but there is no operating system here yet so we need to uh, insert the CD-ROM uh, we will emulate inserting CD-ROM uh, by using the ISO file and we maybe need to change some settings maybe we need to add the hard disk for the data okay so edit settings and you see the only hard disk we have is uh, just a 2 giga uh, space for boot media so let us add so we add and we select hard disk okay we can select maybe 100 gig okay that's okay uh, when we selecting this we can also uh, define on which data store we want this hard disk to be connected to this virtual machine so by default it will be staying on the same but you can also browse and uh, select different one right okay so we use the same store as a virtual machine okay so now we are done we with the hard disk we have a um, boot hard disk and we have a hard disk for the data we have two network adapters if this is not enough you can always add one more okay so network adapter a virtual uh, here if, if you have more VM networks you can uh, also define on which VM network and this uh, adapter will be so let's say you need uh, this NIC for um, uh, volume replication so you, you will have the dedicated uh, VM network for volume replication so you can select another one okay for example this one and uh, you can change memory you can change the type of the SCSI controller here if you will find that LSI logic SAS is faster you can change but we live with paravirtual okay so now the last step we need to uh, you know insert our CD-ROM drive and the uh, ISO files will work here as a CD-ROM drive so we have it in the local store that's our ISO image which I was uploading okay before and connect and okay so we are ready to boot the virtual machine so we can click this button here or this icon here or we can click here as well so now uh, we go to console very fast so I will click on the arrow button I can switch between uh, memory test and uh, boot the image so we will not run memory test right now so next we can select to boot live but this is not what we are uh, going to do we are going to install so we select run installer and the installer will copy the DSS v7 uh, image onto this 2 gigabyte uh, disk which we uh, are going to use as a boot media and make it bootable not a lot so now we are starting the DSS v7 installer so we need to be patient for the few seconds great so first question here is about uh, license we can scroll and read the license Okay, and we can also press enter to agree and now we have option to select uh, the boot media okay so our 2 giga is the one which we want so I selected here and uh, confirm so the installation program checking the source files copying the files and then after copying it will just che check the consistency Okay, this is quite fast and that's it we're done 
so we can shut down or we can reboot when we reboot then we will start the uh, ready installed uh, TSS as a virtual machine on a VM server so we see it is rebooting okay the other virtual machines are running here and I can see the console or oh, maybe here okay now I can uh, actually it was too late it was starting already so now it will be just loading the image and uh, uh, that was the second virtual machine which is started that was the third virtual machine which I have it already okay and that's our fresh virtual machine it is loading so I hope you will be able also to install same on your machine that's uh, all for today thank you very much for watching and have a nice day